Right, this is the old um, 59 Plymouth wagon. I'll do a bit more of a walk around it for you, show you a bit more of the nooks and the crannies. I'll fire it up. It ain't fired up for, I don't know, it's a good 10 days. Might even be more like two weeks, but it's a good 10 days since it's been uh, since it's been fired up. Um, like I said, she's pretty solid all around. It was a California car. Been here since 2014 and been owned by a mate of mine since then. Um, obviously paint is older. No terrible rust problems on the body. A little bit on the back of the seals there on both sides, same place, but it's kind of superficial on the inside. It's pretty solid. Um, a few little bubbles there, but generally, generally pretty good in all the places you want it to be good, you know. Um, bumpers are all straight and square. A few little bubbles on the bottom of the tailgate, but again, generally for a station wagon, a lot of station wagons you see, the tailgates are completely rotted out, and this one's um, this one's pretty solid. I opened the windows up about 10 minutes ago just to air it out, because there's a bit of condensation inside it, but um, put the window up and down, yeah. Out. And then the handle on the top there. Yeah, you can see the bottom of the tailgate is all good. All good on the sides there. Got, still got the original, original panels on the inside of the wheel wells. You can see once the wants a few of the headliner boards, as that's the board that's fell down there, it just wants some some new mill boards making up or something like that. Um, underneath the floor, it's quite hard to do with one hand, but underneath the floor is the big old well underneath there, and obviously if the spare wheel is um, where it's supposed to be, that's um, that's quite a big area. I know you said about putting LPG in it, but uh, you know, honestly, it's not that bad on fuel with a tiny little single barrel carb and the overdrive and the manual and that. It's not bad on fuel anyway. But <coughs> but that's pretty solid in there. I think there's a little bit on the seam just along there that probably wants just a bit of seam sealer putting on it just to seal it up. But you know, a couple of pinholes in it. But it's not it's not rotted out. You know. Um, Again, I mean some superficial sort of little bit of surface bubbling there, but that ain't gone through. A um, little bit, get that my shadow, a little bit on the bottom of the seal exactly the same as the other side but that's it really on the body the body is generally really good really solid you know obviously the paint is older a few little bits bit of patina but it's kind of kind of how they are you know like I say since I've had it it's had um, heater valve fuel filter set of plugs oil and filter a uh, new carburetor, changed a bit of heater hose there, uh, cap rotor leads, all that sort of thing. Um, battery's all right, you can leave it a few weeks, it normally fires it up. I flushed out flushed out all the coolant and the radiator. You see the bottom of the um, bonnet is primer. That's how they were from the factory. I've got a mate of mine, he's really massively into Mopars, and he said that's how they were when they come from the factory. He looked at the car, he was going to buy it back in September when I first got it, and uh, he reckons it's never been a part. He reckons it's quite an, a, quite an original thing, you know. Um, inside, seats are, seats are actually pretty nice. Door panels a little bit warped, I guess from getting damp, but they're just, um, again, just a bit of millboard or a very, very thin bit of ply. And you'll probably be able to save the vinyl. You'll probably be able to restretch it over. I mean, worst case scenario, you might just replace the bottom couple of inches with a bit of carpet or whatever. You can see the see the sills are all nice. The dog leg is nice because normally when these rot, they normally rot there. That's where they normally go. But um, 
I actually had the front seat out of it when I first got it. And the floor was all solid underneath there. Um, the windows on it are a bit stiff. I've only really had the driver's window up and down, but the, the rest of the windows, they do go up and down, but they're quite stiff. I obviously just want, when the door panels come off, to redo the door panels. It wants the, uh, just want to grease up all the, all the runners and everything, you know. See if I've got the keys in my pocket, I'll fire it up. I've backed the choke off on it a little bit. I put the new carburetor on it and the choke was, it would stay on too long. So I've backed the choke off a little bit. So when you start it, you might have to feather it a little bit to sort of keep it going. But um, a couple of pumps. And she's away. Like I say, that hasn't run for probably 12 days, something like that. The last time I drove it, see all the dash is all like original, original paint all around the dash and that. The gauge is there. It's just 60, 63,000 miles from there. Horn works. Uh, obviously lights there. One for size light, uh, side lights, two red lights, and then wipers, which I think electric wipers. I think. You, pull it out for the wipers uh, I put a heater valve on it the fan doesn't blow but it, it is blowing warm air when you're driving along so I put the heater valve on it so if you can get a bit of power to the to the heater motor you should have the heater all working fine smoothly, I mean you can just let the clutch up on tick over now, I've changed the carb and it will just pull away, pull away on tick over nice and smooth, um, like I say overdrive on second and third, you sort of drive along and then you let off the, let off the, um, let off the gas and you sort of feel it crank up into the overdrive, you know, and I think that's, that's just a, what they call a poly engine, 318 poly. Um, single exhaust system all the way through. Um, he's had the valve stem rubbers done when he first got it in 2014. I think if it sits for like a month when you fire it up, it will puff a little bit of smoke when it first starts up, but it don't smoke at all, really. You don't use any oil. Since I've had it, I mean, I've had it since September and I've serviced it all in September and I've driven it two or three times a week all the way through the winter. And I haven't topped up the oil or the water in all that time, so yeah. It, mate, really, I think you'll be uh, you'll be happy with it, and uh, we'll get everything sorted out in the next few weeks. Cheers.